Bam, it's that time, man. It's here, y'all. Remember that that discussion that we were having about banger on banger on banger on banger. Yeah, yeah. We starting this week, and I don't see when's the next weekend that we are not gonna have something exclusive, y'all. So. This is going to be the tell-tell all to see what Nike and Jordan brand ends up in the next couple months, years, etc. Man, let's talk about it, y'all. YouTube fam all... What's the word, man? What's good with y'all? Your boy Jay is back yet again to get you guys some more sneaker content, man. We talking about some things that are happening in the next upcoming weeks. Starting with this week, y'all. Like I said, this is a decent week in my opinion, and it is the week that starts off a lot of things, man. We do got a highly, highly anticipated shoe upcoming, and we do got a highly, highly anticipated shoe that is releasing this weekend, y'all. We're gonna talk about a lot of things coming up, and before we do, get into it, man. Appreciate y'all for pulling up as always. If you are new around here, hit that subscribe button, stick around, join the family. Like I told you guys in a recent video, we are about to hit our next number up man so i appreciate y'all all the new members big shout out to the ogs who have always been coming through supporting leaving comments man i got something special for y'all coming up man uh all y'all you know positive vibes and just you know just y'all y'all rocking with your boy jay does not go unnoticed man so i will have like i said an upcoming giveaway you will just have to watch all the videos all the upcoming videos like from start to finish to get the hints on how to enter it and the way i do my giveaways i kind of make them so that you know, people who only watch my videos and catch the details are able to enter. So, you know, it's a high chance for you if you go ahead and watch all the videos to get yourself a free pair of Jordan 3 Black Cements in your size, man. So stay tuned for that. That is upcoming. Um, Before we dive into, of course, what's going on this weekend in the future, I need for you guys to go ahead, if you haven't already, do it for your boy Jay so I can just put y'all on game. I love putting people on game, you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm here for. I'm here to get y'all the, the earliest of the early, show y'all how they look, and just let y'all know what's hot out there, man. What's hot out there is the one and only. Woo! Only way to travel. Bang! So premise bags, y'all, man. So this right here is my duffel bag. One of my many. I think I got like three of them now, y'all. But this bag right here, man. Clutch, 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 y'all. This bag I took on me to a recent trip to Ohio, y'all. If y'all saw my vlog when I went to Ohio, I took this with me and I took my small luggage roller with me and none of it went underneath the plane, y'all. It all came right next to me on the plane, right on the overhead. I actually had a bag on my seat next to me because I had a whole row to myself, but we ain't talking about that, man. But uh, it did not go underneath the plane. I had all my valuables stored safely right next to me. This bag packs a whole punch. It does have, of course, some zippers in the front where you can store some things. I think I had my charger and some other things in there on the inside of this bag y'all you can customize it to your own liking you can put things at the top of course you got three zipper areas but on the inside not only do you got this big storage area behind it you have the whole inside to where you can section off with dividers y'all it comes with individual dividers that's why it's one of my favorites so it comes with dividers that you can take out or you can put in there and space out your items however you want to i only brought one extra pair of shoes with me so i only put one divider here i had a pair of shoes right in there then i had all my other stuff in here i had my laptop in the back and i brought back some things and it all fit inside here i brought a couple big coats with me y'all and that is why i brought along of course my luggage roller that helped my jacket my pea coat things like that man so I was gone for four days and none of my bags went underneath the plane. It's crazy to think of a four day trip, you know, maybe two outfits or so a day and none of it had to go underneath the plane, y'all. So you can save money. You don't have to check no bags or anything like that. And you know, you can have your valuables right next to you on the plane, man. So check out Soul Premises bags. Like I said, they are nice compact size bags, excellent leather quality, and of course, you can move around with them like you, you never expected. Like when I show people the things that I pull out of the bags, they like, bro, how did all that fit in there, man? But they have a variety of different sizes, shapes, colors, daily commuters, you name it. They have it all over there, man. So tap into Soul Premise. Use my promo code or use my link, y'all. Use my link down below. You won't even have to use the promo code. If you use the link, my discount code will automatically be applied. So 
Telling y'all, shout out to everybody who did cop recently. I saw a few orders, a few people that uh, sent me pictures of their new bags, man. Shout out to y'all for copping those bags. I'm glad you like them. I just want the whole fam to, to just get put onto it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you won't know until you get one for yourself, man. But try out a Soul Perms bag. Use my link. If you don't want to use the link, just use promo code J the Sneaker Guy at checkout. And trust me, you won't be disappointed, y'all. But now that I got y'all a fly bag, y'all got a gift idea for somebody for Christmas. Let's talk about this week real quick, y'all. So as soon as tomorrow, y'all, we do got a release. A release of a Nike Dunk and a Nike Air Force One. I do have the Dunk here with me. Woo! Appreciate you. Bang! I showed you guys these earlier. This is the Dunk Low Halloween Skeleton Toe Joints, y'all. These right here, clean pair of Dunk Lows. Um, When I showed them to y'all, I was like, y'all, is this one of the best Dunk Halloween things shoe that we got in a while, y'all? Definitely a clean looking pair right here. And it does have the infamous go on the toe box y'all so we got these releasing alongside of an air force one skeleton toe both of them will be releasing via the sneakers app i want to say select stores will have pairs as well but sneakers app tomorrow 10 a.m eastern time both of them will be available are you going after any of these pairs y'all are y'all going after the skeleton joints or y'all passing i might i don't know am i throwing these on i don't know i don't know i might I might do something with them. We'll see. We'll see. But it's not a priority for your boy Jay. But Skeleton Toes, Air Forces, Dunks, both releasing tomorrow on Friday, y'all. Friday, we do have the KD, um, the breast cancer joints, y'all. What you call them? Aunt Pearls. Aunt Pearls. We got KD4 Aunt Pearls releasing on Thursday. I have not yet made up my mind yet whether I want to cop those or not. I think I, I might as well. Um, I think they're like 140 retail. Uh, I hope it's not any more than that, but uh, those are releasing on Friday. Alongside those, we do got a pair of phone posits, y'all. We got a pair of phone posit Tekkens releasing. Those will be releasing for a retail price of $240. I have the, uh, what's the name of that character, y'all? I have the other pair. I don't have the white pair. I got the pair that kind of looks like the eggplants, which I'm thinking it is a little more limited than the Kazuya. I think that's the name of it. But I think that's a little bit more limited than that pair right there. I don't think I need both of them. I think I'm good. I'm going to sit out on that one. But uh, if I can uh, spend a block on those and get them for a cheap price, I might get those. But it's not a priority for your boy Jay. But it's between KD uh, for um, Pearls and nothing else on Thursday. So that might be the only Friday that is. But that might be the only shoe that I'm going after, man. Comment down if you're going for anything. If y'all going after anything on Friday or thursday y'all comment down below and let me know but that's pretty much it for friday that i think y'all want to know about there is another pair of shoes released on friday but i don't think y'all really too much interested into that shoe but topic of the video man starting off the heat starting off the heat on saturday saturday like i said y'all it just starts the beginning of just a whole bunch of heat upcoming saturday we will be seeing the jordan for bang which will be releasing exclusively in women's sizes y'all from of course i want to say a three and a half w all the way up to a 12 w which is a 10 and a half in men so this shoe will not be in extended sizes it is exclusively only made for the ladies and a lot of men are inquiring about this shoe y'all like since i've shown them i've had so many people hit me up in my dms jay you got more of the pink fours Nah, I mean, I got some now, you know what I'm saying? But leading up to, I want to say, before this week, I didn't have them, man. Stores in my area are just now getting their pairs, y'all. So it is one of them shoes that not too many people have their hands on. And, of course, it is very, very reminiscent of that of the Jordan 4 UNC, y'all. Of course, same style looking shoe, just with all over pink on it. And I think that these are going to sell pretty good, y'all. I think that these are going to, for the most part, big sizes. They're out the door fast. Small sizes, they will eventually sell out or just the whole thing might sell out, y'all. Like... This is a highly demanded shoe, y'all, but this will be releasing on Saturday via the Sneakers app as well as select retailers, y'all. So right now, if you guys want to check your apps or anywhere in your area that might be getting them and see if you can get it on raffles or anything, now might be the time to do that because these are releasing this weekend. I'm going to try to get you guys a quick on feet review to these sometime, maybe tomorrow or Friday, y'all. So I'm going to try to have this out before they release. But the Jordan 4 Orchard Pinks does start the beginning of just... I want to say just heat on top of heat because right after these, y'all, the next weekend, y'all, we do have a iconic OG sneaker that I know for sure will sell out, y'all, and that is the Jordan 14 Black Toes, y'all, man. So these, y'all, I thought very, 
very hard about doubling up on them, y'all. But I don't think I'm going to do it, y'all. I don't think I'm going to do it. I wore these recently when I went out to Ohio. I was just telling y'all about that trip. I wore these, and I got some compliments. People was like, bro, you already got the 14s? I'm like, you must don't know who I am. It's like flex. But anyways, yes, the Jordan 14s did catch eyes, y'all. So it is an appealing shoe. A lot of people... Still like the Jordan 14s, especially the black toes. It is just one of them shoes, man. A staple shoe when it comes to, of course, Nike and Jordan brand, man. Um, fire, man. Uh, this is, I want to say, the first colorway he released in the Jordan 14s back in, of course, the 90s. And, you know, just, just a thing of beauty in my opinion. But these are releasing one week after the Jordan 4 Orchid Pinks, y'all. So that is just the next upcoming week. What do we have releasing after these, y'all? The next week, November 9th, man. Fear the fours, y'all. Fear the fours. So, right after Black Toe 14s, y'all, the next upcoming week, we shall be seeing the Jordan 4 Fears. And with me giving you guys just this list of what's upcoming for the next couple weeks, y'all, comment down below what shoe is on your Two cop lists, like what shoe is mandatory, what shoe is I can get them on sale, what shoe is a pass. Comment down below. I need to see where all the attention is. When I told you guys in the intro, I said this is going to like really dictate where Nike's brand and Jordan brand is right now because with them dropping all these bangers, like none of these are misses in my opinion between Orchid 4s, Jordan 14 Black Toes, Fear 4s, none of those three are a miss in my opinion y'all but that is the lineup y'all so the next week y'all of course like i said on the 9th we will have the jordan 4 fears releasing i want to say this will be in a full family size run y'all so these are releasing on the 9th that's not it y'all two days later on november 11th it's a shoe that i don't have here but i could have had it here but it is the jordan 11 the women's exclusive velvet y'all the bread velvet joints y'all so two days after fear fours we will be seeing velvet 11s and that's not it y'all I, I don't want to spend too much time on that shoe because that is a women's exclusive it won't be in extended sizes so you know not everyone will be able to get their hands on those so that can be you know a miss for many but two days later y'all it doesn't stop man we got a pair of travis scott's a pair of Travis Scott Jumpman Jacks. Of course, the Olive Brown pair. Olive Brown. The Brown pair. The Baruch Brown, I guess. Whatever they want to call it. That pair will be releasing on November 13th, y'all. So, just think about this. Um, let me let me try to just rewind myself. Orchid Pinks, uh, Black Toe 14s, Fear 4s, Velvet 11s. Now we got Travis Scott Jumpman Jacks on the 13th, y'all. Like, I, I guess they just want shoes to sit, but, um... It doesn't stop there, y'all. Hello? Hello? Yeah. On November 16th, I'm going to be there. On November 16th, y'all. This, in my opinion, this is going to be the sleeper. This has got to be the sleeper, y'all. This has got to be the sleeper shoe, man. But November 16th, these will be releasing, y'all. The Jordan 9 Olives, y'all. Crazy. Like... I'm not even going to go back through the lineup, y'all, but out of all the shoes I named, I would say that this might be the overlooked shoe out of all of them, and um, it is it is a fire pair. It's just that it's so much heat, y'all, but Olive Nines the week after, of course, the Jordan 4 Fears, but it just, it just keeps getting hotter and hotter, y'all. On November 23rd. The week after Olive Nines, y'all. Make sure y'all following your boy Jay on Instagram. At Jay the Sneaker Guy. Make sure. Make sure y'all are following me on Instagram. At Jay the Sneaker Guy. But we do have the Jordan 3 Black Cements. OG. Remastered shape, y'all. Like... These definitely ain't sitting. These def like so so this ain't gonna be the sleeper shoe, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, y'all comment down below. Let me know what y'all copying, what y'all passing on. Do you think the Olive Nines is gonna be the sleeper shoe? If I had to guess, I'm gonna say yes. But these right here, the week after, they're gonna be saving their coins, and these are not. These are yeah. They might be a size here, they might be a size there, but these are gone within the first week, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, Black Cement 3s, November 23rd. Does it stop there? 
Nope. I don't think it stops there, y'all. On November 30th. Okay, okay, okay. I was scared for a minute, y'all. It does kind of calm down, y'all. It does kind of calm down. Last day of November, they didn't kill us, you know what I'm saying? We do have a shooter that I've shown y'all on the channel. It is the Jordan 1 Low Game Royals. Now, that is going to be the shoe I feel like that just kind of... <sighs> breath of fresh air you know what i'm saying like that's really gonna be the shoe the out of nines we can argue whether or whether or not that's gonna do what it do but game royals i'm for sure there's gonna be a lot of game royals on shelves for the simple fact of everything coming out leading up to it y'all but those will be releasing of course on the 30th but it's, like i said y'all it's, it's heat on heat on the second December 2nd, it seems like things start all over again. They ignite that fire because we will be seeing on December 2nd, y'all, a pair of Jordan 12 Women's Phantoms. And I had my dates mixed up. That's why I was like, they lit the fire and all that. These, I mean, th they put these in the microwave. They not fire. They put them in the microwave and warmed them up. You feel what I'm saying? But those are releasing on the 2nd. Now, when the fire gets ignited is on December 6th, y'all, because I had no clue that these were dropping. But... They are fire, and I think that they're going to sell out, y'all. But on December 6th, we will be seeing a pair, another pair, of Jordan 12s. And it is the Jordan 12 Soul Fly, y'all. The Baruch Browns, y'all. Like, why it look like a football? Like, yo. I'm going to stop there. I don't even have to go deeper into December. We'll talk about December when December gets here. But I want to say after that, it might be Legend Blue 11s or uh, something else. I mean, but... The 12s are releasing on the 6th of December. Like I said, I'm going to pump my brace there, y'all. But it is a lot lined up for 2024, y'all. We can't really be talking about 2025 thus far. I mean, yet. You know what I'm saying? Like, we got to pump our brakes and get through this year. But comment down below what is sitting. What is selling out? You know what I'm saying? Like, let me know. Bro, that's for sure selling out. Let me know down below in the comment section. What are you picking up in the remainder of 2024? I think I'll be getting those 12s. Of course, the Soulfly 12s. And what else, y'all? Like, I, man, that's why I'm I'm clearing out room, y'all. I'm getting rid of shoes. Like, I gotta make room for things that I really want. I get shoes in hand. I look at them and see if I really want them. If I don't want them, I get rid of them. That's how I move, y'all. But comment down below. Let me know what y'all are copping for the rest of the year. And you copping anything this week? All that good stuff. But your boy Jace just wanted to chop it up with y'all, man. So y'all enjoy the rest of y'all evening. I'm gone. I will catch y'all on the next video. And yes, y'all stay blessed. We got some on feast this week, so uh, I look forward to seeing y'all there, man. I'm gone. Peace!